first let me say I am not an archer or as my kids would say an archerer I got some hay bales stacked them up back here had my wife spray paint a little man form on them I do not condone shooting at your house I mean in the direction of your house but this house is mine and I'll put arrows through it if I feel like it. First we're gonna do the shortest bow that I did for my four-year-old originally but he can't even begin to pull this thing back um, and now my nine-year-old says it's his. So I'm gonna fire this. I got some little 28 inch fiberglass arrows super cheap on Amazon and our first attempts are gonna be from five paces. I think my pace is like, I don't know, three feet. So maybe 15 feet. And headshot. Ah, neck shot. Pretty close. And with this, <laughs> definitely not a toy bow, this is the penetration we got into a hay bale. Three, six, almost nine inches <laughs> with the target tip all right so from 15 feet I can put this in someone's neck up to right here that's why I keep saying this is not a toy next we're gonna try the 12 year olds 12 year olds bow same arrow same distance We kind of went off. Got about the same penetration. So we're shooting a little bit. There we go. I got him in the lung. That was a lung shot. So for 15 feet. Okay, that was definitely more penetration than the other bow. So this one was about 15 inches in penetration. So now we're going to try the very first bow that I made. This is the monster bow. First I'm going to shoot the 28 inch fiberglass arrow and then I have some 31 inch wooden arrows that we'll try next. Got him in the arm. Hopefully that hit the brachial artery. I'm gonna say it did. That was a kill shot all the way through the arm. Hit your brachial, ar brachial artery, you're done. And we got about three, six, nine, twelve. About the same 15 inch penetration that we did with the other bow. Um, but I can't go to full draw with those arrows, so. Let's see what we can do with the 31 inch, and these are still just target tips. Actually, these fiberglass tips are, these are just like the cheap $20 for a dozen on Amazon. Link in the description, obviously. And these are some that I actually got from an archery place with my wife's wooden longbow um, like 15 years ago maybe almost 20 years ago. So we're gonna do the same thing from 15 feet. Let's see what we got. These might not bend around um, the bow. Oh, that was super sweet. I was gonna say, this, this, this arrow was flew straighter than the other arrows um, flew straighter than the, the fiberglass arrows probably because it had less uh, that flex whatever they call it um, going around the bow so that got about three six nine uh, three six nine twelve only twelve in but it's it's a blunter tip it's also a fatter shaft, 
<laughs> no jokes about that. And then these, see, these bend more. All right, so that was all three bows from 15 feet. And I guess let's double that distance and see what happens. We're gonna start off with now the nine-year-old's bow from, let's say this is about 30 feet. Pulling to the right, I'm sure, sorry if that got really loud in your ear just then. And try again. There we go. And again, I, I'm not an archer and I'm not just saying that. This is just me shooting with some basic techniques that I think I've learned. All right, so that was three from this bow. This bow will kill you, all right? Three feet long, PVC, no inner core. Oh, you guys can probably see that I heat gunned it a little more. So I heat gunned it here to get some bend. I heat gunned it here and I heat gunned it here so that it would actually be easier to pull. And it's still, man, when you get back here, it's, <laughs> it's still like 30 pound draw. All right, next up. Next up is the um, half inch PVC pipe with a single fiberglass core. My kids really like these because they get to pick which color bowstring they want. Ooh, went off to the left a little. Try again. Ah, went off to the other way. I got cocky with that other one and now I'm all over the place. Calm down a little bit. Nah, that might have gotten him in the hand. You know what? I'm going to take one shot. Uh, with the wooden arrow. I was actually more accurate with the three foot bow. This one is uh, four foot. Ah, would that get him in the hand? Yeah. Actually, I like those wooden arrows. They actually fly better than, of course, than the cheap fiberglass one. All right, now we're gonna go to the, so we started with a three foot bow, half inch PVC pipe, no core. Then we went to four foot bow, half inch PVC pipe, one fiberglass highway marker, driveway marker core. Now we have the five foot bow, three quarter inch PVC pipe with three fiberglass cores. And again, we'll start with the fiberglass arrows. Actually, that flew pretty good. Now I know left to right. Like I said, I'm, you see my shot groups are all over the place, but. <laughs> and just when I say my shot groups are all over the place, I put three right in his hand. I'm gonna do one more fiberglass arrow, and then we'll switch to the wooden arrow. Yeah, pulling to the left now. Probably trying to compensate for whatever I was doing earlier that made me pull to the right, and now I'm pulling to the left. Oh man, that felt good. <laughs> I know, no surprise, right? I really like the wooden arrows. They're so expensive. Now I'm pulling everything to the left. Now I'm gonna overcompensate and shoot it right through my kitchen window. Good. Well, that's all of them. So we're just gonna move up here and see what we got. 
again this was about 30 feet I think it was 10 paces um, we had this one go through on the right oh man I don't know what it stuck into but it was stuck into the wood or something back there missed him here I think this is one of the earlier ones but look at that penetration with those from and that's from that's from 30 feet man what's that 10 yards even on the and this one right here that's 10 yards with the smallest of the boats you guys thought I was joking when I said that was that little one was heavier draw Here's where I started getting a pretty good shot group. Got him in the arm, shoulder. I'm obviously much more deadly from 15 feet than I am from 30. Uh, but if he had a guy with him standing on his right-hand side, that dude is done. Look at that. That's a good one. Got some misses over here. That fire straight my deck oh man yeah these oh that's hilarious those are those two are in, that's some good penetration from back there look at that wow need to do some distance tests next get in a large open field well that was pretty weak get in a, get in a large open field and see what kind of distance we can get with these um, yeah, see, those actually missed the hay bale almost completely and stuck into my deck. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even get those out. It looks like they're just in there a little bit, but they're not, they're not budging. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Some people asked for footage of me shooting. The bows there you go i'll keep playing around with these and hopefully become a better archer in the process let me know what you guys think down in the comments below as always like subscribe share check out our website at www.bushcraftridge.com and we'll see you on the ridge mm -hmm.